It's time to check in on those goals. Welcome to The Hopefulist with me, Wendy McClure. This is where we turn those nasty, negative thoughts into positive and work toward a happy, fulfilled life. Now, let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you may be listening. I thank you for joining me here on The Hopefulist, your dose of inspiration and positivity. Starting out with the quote of the day coming from my girl, Jen Sincero, be the biggest badass you can be, whatever that happens to look like for you. Speaking of badasses, we're going to focus on goals today. I wanted to give a shout out to my sister. Attempted her third complete Ironman over the weekend. She's done a number of half Ironmans. I don't know how many, but quite a few. Now, the first full Ironman that she attempted was in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, I believe. Very hilly course. First time she attempted it, the hills, it was extremely windy. It's just a little too much for her. She didn't make the cutoff. Then she decided, okay, well, I'll do another Ironman in a different location. And that, my husband and I got to join her by following her around. No, no, I don't mean join her in the Ironman. Good God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not my thing. Um, but we followed her around, and she completed that Iron Man. To me, I'd have been done. Got my Iron Man, I'm good. Nope. She had a goal. She wants to tackle that first course. She wants to beat that first course. So she did it again over the weekend. Luckily, the winds weren't as bad. Hills, obviously, still the same, but it was a 100-degree day, 100 degrees. She said she heard that there was reports of the pavement, the heat coming off the pavement of up to 130 degrees. So she dealt with a lot of cramping. The hills just were, you know, just brutal with the hot conditions. So she did 2.4-mile swim. And 102 miles on the bike. She was supposed to go another 10 miles on the bike. Just another 10. And then she would have gotten to do a full marathon. That's right, 26 miles of running. I told her when she called me and said that she she didn't make it. Thank God, now you don't have to do a marathon. (laughs) But yeah, 2.4 2.4 miles swimming, 102 miles on the bike on a 100-degree day. Nothing to sneeze at. I'm so proud of her. Um, she's been working so hard to train for this. Um, I'm not sure what she's going to do. Uh, I would have retired after Maryland, uh, but we'll see what happens. But this is a girl who has her sights set on something, and she goes for it. So, keeping that in mind, how are your goals going this year? You know, we all have certain personal goals that we want to achieve, and we rarely check in on them unless it's like December or January, right? When we kind of figure out what we've done and what we would like to do better, Uh, In the coming year. So we're going to focus on that today. One of the things I do to keep me in check when it comes to my goals. Is I write out my top 10 goals every morning. After I'm done my gratitude journal. Now I've been told you shouldn't focus on more than 10 at a time. I've gotten this information from my girl Rachel Hollis who has the Start Today journal, who has a whole setup of this. I do it on my own. I don't buy the journals. I just write it in my own little notebook. So I'm going to tell you the top 10 goals that I've been writing down the last couple of months, probably for about a year now. Now, these can change. Um, Hopefully, at some point, you cross one off the list, and then you can add a different one. But these can change. Mine have changed uh, 
quite a bit over the years, but here is what I am focusing on right now. Here are my goals. Some of them big, audacious business goals, some very personal, some things I just want to remind myself of. So my first one, I weigh 145 pounds. I am nine pounds away, nine pounds away from that goal. I have 10,000 followers on IG. That is my goal. Sponsors will pay me at least 10 grand a month. Number four, I make 10 grand a month coaching. Number five, I speak on huge stages in front of thousands. Number six, I am a New York Times best-selling author. I better get writing then, huh? Number seven, I have a good or a great memory. Now, I started including this one because I have such a bad habit of saying constantly, I have a terrible memory. I have a really bad memory. I, I can't remember anything. So I'm convincing myself that I can't remember things. So I'm trying to flip that around to remind myself that I don't have a terrible memory. I have a great memory, and I will remember things. Number eight, I am an exceptional wife to Joe. A reminder every day to do something that will be exceptional in his eyes. And, you know, honestly, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to do something, one little thing every day, that will make them smile, and vice versa. Number nine, very personal for me, something I've wanted for a very long time. I have a diamond tennis bracelet. Oh, 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 yes. And finally, number 10, I make money in my sleep. If you follow any of these entrepreneurial groups like I do, that's always the big goal. Make money in your sleep. Make money in your sleep. You know, because most of the time you have to get up and go to a job to make money. So you want to set up a stream of income. That's just constantly flowing, even when you are asleep. So there are some of my goals. I encourage you to write out your at least top 10. Um, don't, don't go more than 10, but you don't have to have 10 either. Um, but do that every morning right after your gratitude journal. It keeps them top of mind, and it keeps you wanting to um, do the steps it takes to achieve these goals. So... On to the topic of the day. Remember, way back in January on the 1st, you promised yourself you would achieve certain things this year. So let's see. How are you doing? I stopped making New Year's resolutions a number of years back because I rarely made any of them happen, which just made me feel bad about myself. Then I started making them again because it occurred to me If I'm not doing what I say I'm going to, then maybe I should feel bad about myself. Not that I think you should ever punish yourself or make yourself feel bad, but if you aren't doing what you say you will, then something is wrong. You are either taking on too much or you are just lazy and not making it happen. Yes, I said it. Here's the thing. Life truly is short. And we want or should want so many things before our time is up. We want to live our very best life and be happy as much as possible. Like it or not, that sometimes means we have to put in the work. Nothing comes easy. And if it does, it usually isn't very worthwhile. Did you make resolutions this year? Or do you not even bother anymore? Because if you did make resolutions... It's time to see how you're coming along in your goals. If you didn't make resolutions, it's time to remedy that and set some goals now. Don't wait till January 1st. Set some goals now. Are you saving money? Are you healthier than when the year started? Or are you spending more quality time with loved ones? Now that things are finally opening up, are you taking advantage of getting out and visiting with people you haven't seen in person in so, so long? Are you making strides at work or at your business? Are you making more money? Anything you set as a goal in the beginning of the year, it's time to assess. Where are you kicking ass? What are you doing right? How have you gotten there? And what do you need to do in order to get even further? Do you want to set a new goal to go even further than you originally thought in the beginning of the year? That would be perfect. In what area are you not doing what you hope to achieve? Have you made any strides at all? What is going wrong? How can you address that? What can you do differently? 
Are you just not making time for it? Are you constantly breaking the promises to yourself? It's time to ask these tough questions. Once you figure out where you are going wrong, you can fix it. As I mentioned, if you haven't set any goals this year yet, then it's time to do that. Don't wait till January to set goals that will improve your life. Because ultimately, that is why we set these goals and resolutions. Because we want to do things that will make life better. We want to look better, feel better, have things come easier, enjoy life more, and be able to do all that we want. Take a look at the main areas of your life. How are your relationships with your other half, if you have one, with your kids, with the family you grew up with, coworkers? How are things with your friends? Is there something lacking in any of these relationships? Now is the time to figure out what changes you can make in order to better these relationships. How is your health? Were you hoping to lose weight and get more fit? Have you done that at all? Are you close to a goal? Are you food planning and prepping? Are you doing a regular workout? Are you getting walks in or some sort of physical activity? These are the things that will help you live longer and more problem-free. This is so super important. So, so do the hard work and take off some weight. Build up some muscle and be able to walk and play easily without losing your breath. What are you doing with your free time? Is there something you've been wanting to try and haven't done yet? Now is the time. Stop waiting for the right time. The time is right now. Go for it. Try as many hobbies and activities as you can. Life is short. Have fun. How is your financial situation? Have you been able to put some money away in an emergency fund? Are you saving for a special vacation or purchase like a diamond tennis bracelet? How is that coming along? Making any progress? Were you hoping to make more money this year? How are you going to go about that? Is there something else you could be doing to make that happen? Is there something you could do on the side that will bring in more cash? If you haven't asked yourself these questions lately, it's time to do so. Remember that setting goals is not a punishment. It's to live a better life. Yes, that will almost always take work, but always gets harder before it gets easier. We work our ass off so we can relax a little once we hit our goal. We get in tip-top physical shape so we can do more of what we want for as long as we can. So when you don't feel like keeping up with your schedule, remind yourself of the big picture. Why is it you want to achieve this goal? That should help keep you going. And yes, you need to do check-ins to see how you are coming along, what's going right, and what's going wrong. Where do you need to change things up? Where are things going exactly as planned? And how can you keep that up? You have this one life. Make the most of it. If you like this episode, please Leave me a review and share it with your friends. If you would like more information on goal setting and making them happen, contact me. I offer discipline coaching and would love to help get you on the right track. I wish you the very best week. Go on out there and be badass. I'm always here cheering you on. Thank you for listening to The Hopefulist. Now, don't you feel good? Make sure you come back next week. See you then.